Uh, thank you for being with me. Let me go and talk to uh, my dear, dear, good friend, Mel, out of Atlanta, Georgia, dear. Mel is listening on um, WWE 1100 on the AM dial. <laughs> Thank you, Mel. Welcome to the show, sir. You don't even know what dial I'm on, man. You, 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 you blind. And plus, you uh, 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 up to your same old tricks again, tell a lie. It's amazing. But you know what? I and talked what to lie, the dog, What lie did I tell this, sir? I'm going to get to that in a minute. The person that answered the telephone, the true white man you have answered the, answered the telephone. You say the what? See, I know you a phony white man. And you say this is a true one? He sound like you a true white man, other than you. You call yourself call yourself white, but no, you know you, I said I'm white you're on the, not white. You accuse me of being white on the inside. Oh man, so, Let I me am, get to my point. I am white on the inside. Let black me get on, to my point. What black I told on, the, the black man on the out, true hold white on. man who hey, the telephone. Hold on. I am white on the inside, black on the outside. You through? Go ahead, Mel. Okay. <laughs> Sound like my mama. What I told him on the the, uh, the the person that asked the phone, the true white man. That, that, that was. It, 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 it seemed like to me now you that have was James. a doctor on your on, on, on your station there. Yes. Okay. Our beautiful, beautiful brown skinned first lady. Who's was telling the country that we need to watch our diet, have uh, have plenty of exercise, and so forth. Now she <laughs> she was telling the, the people in, in in this country all about our health and the health and uh, problems. But you ha- have the nerve to uh, downrate her, call her names like you always. I don't, I really don't care. You know, big, big mama. mama, big mama, and but you have a doctor on your radio station telling us about our body and, and, and continue. But but you would you didn't want to give the first lady credit for for telling us that you downplay her. Well, you but this, see, I'm going to show you how how you uh, how big it. Oh, uh, Uncle Tom, <laughs> person like yourself, liar, want to overthrow the government. You don't want to wanna overthrow the government, you Mel. You uh, lie. Uh, You're just lying. We don't want to overthrow the government. The the thing about Big Mama Mel, she didn't just suggest that you she eat not, healthy. She's the but, first lady but, of the United States. But Mel, you know what? You ought to be on. sued for calling her that. Hold but on, you, Mel. We all know you. You can't. You you, uh, you can't do that because you have the freedom of rights of speech like I do. Yes, See, that's, that's the only reason why you you, you call her, uh, uh, you know her uh, names and football. But, but Mel, I don't care. Hold on, Mel. You Mel. and your so-called <laughs> bigot tea party want to overthrow the government. Hey, Mel. And another thing. Let me, let me Mel, say, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Mel. Big Mama uh, didn't just suggest what we eat. She tried to get laws, and in some cases she did, got laws passed to force us to eat what she wanted us to eat while she is pinking off everything that gets in her way. She and her little boy, Obama, they're eating whatever they want, and they tried to force others to eat. That's the difference, and I think you're missing that. No, no, you're missing that. You are just... You 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 lied. See, like lied about you always what? Do. Lied about what? But let me tell you something. Lied about what? You lied about what you what what, what you said about her. Let me, she's let not me trying to force her to eat. She's uh, not uh, trying uh, to force her. The land, the, 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 the she's land. not trying to force us to eat what she uh, wants us to have. Why you have the doctor on your radio station? He's not when trying the, to. The first lady was telling us that. Why he, you got the doctor on your radio station? He's not trying to force you to eat what. She uh, wasn't or, trying to or force take, her. Yes, she was. By, by, by Obama said, said Big Mama. Obama said. You know what? You're going to be able to. Obama to, uh, said that Big Mama. Doctor. You're going to be able to keep your private doctor. All you carry on. Hey, keep part of the Republicans. You're going to be able enough now to keep your private, uncle <laughs> Tom doctor. 
For a year now, for a whole year. So you, you you can get off of that talking about you can't keep your private doctor. You can't. Bye, Negro, bye. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Amazing. His mother, Mel's mother, had a major impact on him. Long live mama. And this is the unfortunate aspect of being raised by single black mothers. Male is an example of that. The unfortunate uh, aspect of being raised by single black mothers. This is what happens to black children. And you wonder why they're so angry. They have mama's nature. She's passed that down to them from generation to generation to generation. (laughs) Dr. Singh is not trying to force anyone to do anything. He's just giving you his best advice based on what he knows and his education and the way he lives. Big Mama got laws passed to force schools and restaurants and cafes and others to do what she want them to do. While she and her little boy, Obama, peeking out on everything that gets in their way. Ribs, tamales, hot dogs, chili dogs, french fries. You name it, Big Mama is eating it. Don't put it in her way. Those hypocrites. But yet... Black Americans support her. Yeah, Michelle, quiet as it's kept, she loves French fries. <laughs> she loves pizza. She loves chicken. <laughs> that was Barack Obama. Those were not my words. Those were his words. Her, her, her boy husband. She loves quiet as it kept. I bet she gave him a whooping for telling that. <laughs> I bet Big Mama put him across her lap, and it was over. I asked Michelle the other day, I said, what's your favorite food? Because we were sitting around with the girls. She said, oh, Mexican food. That's, that's. (laughs) You do not want to be between Michelle and Tamale. (laughs) I can see her now. Putting on that face she got. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? You will run away from the table uh, if you get between her tamale. So, Mel, there you have it. You heard what Obama had to say about it. I'm not making this up. The woman sounds like a pig. She's eating whatever you put in front of her. And if you get in the way of her tamales, it's over. <laughs> 